Ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode on Super Negotiate. Today I am going to tell you why everything that has been told to you about procurement spend analytics is a lie. Now that's a very big bold statement that I made but I have seen the same pitch spend cube, spend cube, spend cube as the golden benchmark every time a spend analysis project is talked about or a company who has implemented these spend analysis tools will also refer oh we have access to the spend cube. Nobody talks about what do we actually mean by spend cube. What's the benefit we get out of spend cube. Now in this video I'm going to tell you exactly why I feel spend cubes are no longer required. So why am I recommending you not to spend about any amount of time and dollar on just building the spend cube. Here are my arguments against a spend cube. One, spend cubes are really basic. They only tell you what has happened in the past. As a category manager, I need to know the information that I can act on. I need some patterns, I need some trends, I need answers on complex problems. Whereas spend cubes are really basic. It's just about telling me what has happened. Point number two, spend cubes never work perfectly on indirect spend. You know indirect spend is really complex. There are so many items are there and more often than not the information quality availability for indirect spend description is really poor. So no matter how much machine learning you can apply and how much technical and commercial people sit down together to classify it manually, you will never be able to perfect the indirect spend classification. However, on the other side, for the direct spend, most of the companies will have in some shape or form a perfectly categorized data. So they don't even need the spend cube. Now when this data is fed to the spend cube, you only get the visibility of information that you already know. So why to bother and spend most of your time classifying the indirect spend and classifying the direct spend which you know already. Another point here is which I mentioned in the beginning of my video. They only tell you things what has happened already. Nothing they can provide me to provide me with the background of how I should build my category strategy, how I should negotiate and how do I know whether I have get the best pricing or not. These are some of the questions that most of the category manager needs from a spend analysis tool and that's why you will see even till today in 2022. The 90% of the work used for a spend analytics tool ends up as data export only or data extract only and every other analysis is done in Excel. So stop bothering about building meaningless dashboards on spend analysis tool. Rather I would do 5 use cases for you in this video which I think answers most of the question that you should be answering while selecting a spend analysis tool. So let's jump right into it. First one, how do I know my upcoming demand when the business team hasn't given me any forecasting or any volume? Second, how do I know which suppliers should I select before I start the sourcing event? I need some guidance. Third, how do I know whether I have the best deal during an active negotiation? Or how do I know what should be my anchor price? Fourth, after the supplier has been awarded, how do I know whether the supplier has performed according to what I asked the suppliers to do in the contract? And the last is, how do I continue to get more cost saving opportunities or value enrichment opportunities? These are the five questions that any spend analysis tool should be providing you in 2022. Do not fall for the dashboards. Now let's go into the detail of the first one. How can you build this using Excel based upon the data that you have? So our first use case was how do I know the demand when the business team is not providing you the data? It's simple enough. All you need is access to your ERP data. And within the ERP, you will have a PO transaction data. I want you to pick 
following fields one PO date which is PO creation date second I want you to know the item description or the commodity or the pr product category I don't care just get a product description that works for you third I want you to get the volume or the quantity that was placed that's it these three things now what I want you to do within the Excel just build a heat map you're showing I'm showing you that on the screen on the rows you have on the columns you have the years or the months on the rows you have about the name of the commodity etc etc so now you are able to see in which particular period whatever quantity is typically purchased once you build that view go and have a chat with your business team try to anticipate are you in a, a position to start a sourcing event well in advance take an example if the market is scheduled to go up then are you in a position to lock down some of those volumes depending upon those heat map there could be more advanced use cases out of this for example if you have granular data you can do time series forecasting etc etc but for me the heat map of my PO creation dates provides me an excellent baseline to start with now in the next video we will move to our second use case which is how do I know which suppliers should I select or invite to my sourcing event but for now I hope you had fun watching this video again don't fall the trap of spend cube I'll see you in the next one everyone goodbye